welcome back to What's the 411. Um, we are starting a book segment. And I am so happy and proud to um, introduce you to Troy Johnson, who is the president, CEO of um, the um, African American Literature Book Club, AALBC.com is the website and he's a webmaster for that website as well so um, Mr. Troy Johnson is wearing a lot of hats um, but it is great hats because he's bringing you wonderful things and if you don't know Mr. Troy Johnson well you need to ask somebody so welcome thank you very much Ruth it's a pleasure to be here um, as you said I do run uh, the African American Literature Book Club which is better known as AALBC.com I started it in 1997. In fact, October of, of this year will be the 20th anniversary when I first sat in front of a keyboard and, and started this website. And I've been doing it ever since. It's been my livelihood for the, like, the last nine years and it's, it's definitely a passion. On the website you'll find a wide variety of information, uh, information on uh, books, authors, um, and it's not just new books, it's, it's an archive of information. So you'll find information on books that are out of print. You'll find information about authors who may have passed um, you know, decades ago. Uh, but it's a, I like to think of it as a wealth of information about black books and black culture. Wow, now he's not kidding because it really is the largest website of African American um, literature and books. So if you don't know about AALBC.com, you really, really do need to go and pay a visit and um, support them. So what are we going to do with this segment as we go forward? So let's talk about that. Sure. Well, I'm looking forward to sharing uh, information about black books, not just uh, in New York or North America, but uh, black books from Africa and the entire African diaspora. Um, we're going to share information about books, um, about authors, about events, uh, book news, uh, just the wealth of information that's out there. We're going to actually provide a platform for uh, sharing our stories and helping to make sure that uh, information that is going to celebrate and uplift the black community is, is shared here. Uh, and in today's environment, as you know, that type of those types of platforms are disappearing quite rapidly. So what's the 411 is really important uh, to the community and I'm just glad to be able to have this platform to share that type of information. Okay, great. So um, so what are we going to do today? Well, today I'd like to talk about some of, uh, we recently, um, three uh, black writers uh, won Pulitzer Prizes for uh, literature. Now it's important to point out that um, the Pulitzer Prize has been awarded for over a hundred years now. And it took 60, over 60 years for just two uh, black writers uh, to win awards, uh, McPherson and, and Gwendolyn Brooks. Uh, but this year, uh, three writers uh, received uh, awards for books. Um, one was uh, uh, Tahimba Jess, who won for poetry. Um, this is a really excellent book. Um, very unique in how the information is presented. Um, and uh, Tahemba is uh, based in New York. Uh, he teaches at the uh, College of Staten Island, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and he can be seen at uh, the Center for Black Literature at Mega Evers College uh, quite frequently. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Colson Whitehead, uh, one for fiction. Uh, his book, The Underground uh, Railroad, uh, perhaps is the most um, successful, critically acclaimed book uh, that's been published in, in quite a long time. It not only won the Pulitzer, it won the National Book Award, it was an Oprah pick, it's an AALBC.com best-selling book. It is just a fantastically successful book and I recommend you pick that one up. It's just uh, wildly successful. Well, I'm going to put that one on my, my, my bookshelf. <laughs> Good, yeah. absolutely. And I sure. mean not just on the shelf, but I'm going to read it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Lynn Nottage won uh, for, for, being, for a play, for a play she's written. Um, she's, this is not her first time winning, so she's um, joining the ranks of uh, playwrights like August Wilson, who's won more than one Pulitzer. Um, and Hilton Owls, I like to recognize, he didn't win for a particular uh, book, but he, he's uh, a critic. 
um, and he's he's won for he won for criticism. Okay. Um, so th those are just four um, who've written who've won in in the categories in which books are recognized. You know, um, today that we're taping, Lynn Nottage was nominated for a Tony for Sweat. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Not surprising. Yeah. Well. This has really been a great start um, to the 411 on Books, and um, I really thank you for um, you know joining us with this collaboration, so that we can bring more information about books, um, and, and not just books, but African American books and African American authors, um, you know, to the public. So. And, and I appreciate the opportunity. I'm looking forward to it. Um, there's so much information to share. And um, we'll take this time and share the best and, and the greatest of black books. Yeah. And if you're just tuning in and you just missed everything, you can find this interview on our website, what's the 411.com. Just look under the book tab and you'll also be able to see it on the aalbc.com website as well and make sure you visit both websites um, you know and definitely if you are into books you want to make sure that you you know support um, Troy Johnson and his um, his venture so with that we will see you next time <laughs>